Well, hi everybody. Welcome back. You know, in today's video, I found some pretty unique items, including this magnifying glass with a perpetual date calendar built in, and a few other items that I'm sure you're going to be interested in seeing. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this video started because I can't wait to show you this stuff. Well, hi guys, I'm ready to start thrifting. I'm really anxious to start thrifting. Well, then why are we still here? We should be at the first store. Oh, I remember why, because I have to give you guys a trivia question first. So here it is. In what year did the first pedal car hit the market? Well, I'll give you that answer later on in the video. But for now, we got to start thrifting. I'm going crazy here. Soon as I got to this store, I was pretty impressed. They had obviously reorganized everything. I didn't recognize a lot of their merchandise either, so they must have put out a whole bunch of new stuff. So I was pretty anxious to get started. So off I went. I walked around the store until I saw that fish. See it there on the top shelf? You put them in your pool and they swim around and they have a realistic motion. They're pretty cool. This one was $4 and I know I could get 20 Next, I found myself on this aisle. The first thing I saw that I was interested in was this Age of Empires. It's a PC game for your computer. Games at this store sell for $2.99, and on eBay, this goes for $20. So I took this. I walked over to this shelf because I saw some electronics on it, but none of them I thought I could make money on. Then I saw this fan. It's by Massey. Now, believe it or not, these fans go for about $20 because they're high-powered. This one was $3.99. Oh, so it's mine. Well, I had had higher hopes for this store. But at least I found a few things, and I shouldn't make a few bucks off them. So I was kind of happy. I'll just meet you guys out in the car. Well, we're going to be heading to the next store. But I wanted to tell you non-subscribers that you should click that subscribe button because when you watch my videos and we go from store to store, I take all the subscribers and they sit up front right where the air conditioning vents are and the non-subscribers sit way back there where there's no air conditioning vents. It can get pretty hot back there. And remember, I thrift in Florida. Okay, well, I'll give you a few seconds to click the button. Oh, and, and the thumbs up too. Okay, you done? Okay, now let's head to the next store. Come on, let's go. As soon as I got to this store, I was walking past their furniture section, and I noticed this pedal car. It was really cool looking. It was shaped like an old vintage automobile. It had a license plate on the front that said it was a limited edition. They were asking only $30 for this. And even though it had broken, a couple of broken parts, I still took it. I figured I could get over a hundred. Over on their toy aisle, the first thing I saw was this Bungie's toy. It was $3, but I looked them up and they were going for just around 10. So I passed on that. Then I walked towards the end of the aisle where I saw this group of video games. This one was a GameCube. It was called Crazy Taxi. It was going for like $15. This next game was called Dragon Ball Z. This was going for like $20. You know, all games at this place are only $2. So this was definitely a pretty good buy. This was Spider-Man. I took that. I took the Batman Vengeance game and the Star Fox Adventures. The only one I left behind was Minority Report. And the rest of them I took. I figured I made a nice purchase here. Next, I went over to the electronics aisle. The only thing I saw that half interested me were these speakers, but they weren't worth much. Then I saw these Frozen 2 headphones. They were Bluetooth. They were new in a box. They were only $5. I figured they had to go for 20 so I took them home with me. When I got to this aisle... The only thing I saw that half interested me 
was what was in this bin. It was an inflatable boxing bag. They were only asking $3 for it. They go for 20. It was new in a box. It was mine. On this aisle, I saw those two bears. They were cute, but they weren't money makers. Then I saw this magnifying glass. It was made of brass. It was only $2. It had a perpetual calendar built into it. I figured it would easily bring 20 so I brought it home. Well, that was about all for this store. So I'll meet you guys out in the car. And I'll talk to you out there. Well, I'll talk to you out there if this scene ever ends. When does this scene end? Come on, scene. End. Come on, scene. Well, where were you? Oh, I know. You were watching that last scene. Yeah, I forgot to edit it, so it went a little long. But now that you're here, just get comfortable, because we'll be heading to the next door. Follow me. I hadn't been to the Salvation Army in a while, so I was enjoying seeing all the new stuff. First thing I saw that I liked were those two giraffes. They were well made. They were made by this guy, John Perry. They were asking six ninety nine for them. On eBay, they go for 40 So I put this one in the cart. I decided to come over to this aisle because I saw stuff that I thought I liked. But the more I looked, the less I liked. So I decided that it was time to move to another aisle. On this next aisle, which I thought had some pretty interesting stuff, I noticed these two wooden figures. Now, the first figure I thought was cheaply made and not well designed. But the next figure, it was $9.99. It ended up it was made in Italy, and it was an airline pilot. And they go for like $40, $50. So I wanted this one a lot. There were two reasons I bought that statue. One... It was only $9.99 on a 25% off day. And two, it was airline related. Now I have a lot of luck selling airline stuff. And this one was no exception. It ended up selling for $35 plus plus twelve ninety five dollars shipping. So I made a pretty nice profit on it. Now, if you guys see airline related stuff out there, you have to look it up because I want you to make money too. Okay, now back to the video. Well, even though I only found two items at this store, I think I'm going to make pretty good money on both of them. Well, that's about it. So now it's time to head out and meet you guys in the car. And we'll call it a day. Well, guys, it's time for me to go. But I want to give you the answer to today's trivia question. You know, when I saw that pedal car at the beginning of this video, I knew right away that would make a pretty good trivia question. Well, the answer is the first pedal car came out in the 1890s. No one knows the exact date, but in the 1890s, it came out right after Carl Benz invented the first car. Now, just like the car, they were very, very expensive. They were for the rich. Poor people couldn't afford them. Over the years, the price came down until when I was born, I had a pedal car. It was shaped like a fire engine, and I loved it dearly. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.